to be here in, in, in real life and put everything into perspective is pretty amazing. And the people are so nice and it's a beautiful, beautiful place. When it's big and when we come last minute, it's gonna be a long trip. And it's gonna be just a couple of days before it as well. So those are things that we gotta we gotta prepare ourselves to and and uh, hopefully work it out in a way that doesn't take too much out of our energy. It looks challenging. Uh, we haven't seen it really, really big yet, but I can see from the setup, it's a good setup for big waves. We got out there really early because we were aware of the window that we had to serve because of the winds. We were supposed to pick up around 9, so we wanted to make sure we would serve as early as possible. Just remember when I look back and saw her face, and I told her, "Hey, let's go. It's ours. You know, nobody's going for this one." So we we went for the wave, and I was in the right position. She was in the right position also, and she let the rope go, and she started to to go really quick. And I saw the first jump when she hit the bump and she was in control and then second bump and then I couldn't see anymore because of the because of the lip of the wave and the whole wind on my face. Uh, this wave is probably almost double the size of whatever I've ever ridden in my life and uh, very, very bumpy very fast. I've never gone that fast on a surfboard before. Um, I broke my ankle on the wave on, on probably the third or the fourth bump. And from there I just, I just went face first and got pounded by that wave and, and then the whole thing started. So after the black, I made it back to the surface, which I, I was actually very surprised. I thought when everything went black, that was it. And I had a second chance. I was on the surface, I was breathing, but everything was white. I could, couldn't see anything. Everything was just completely white. I had no vision. I had a little bit of senses and uh, I could still breathe somehow, but I knew I was in serious trouble and that I had to count on my instinct and uh, on Carlos. And then I realized that she fall, but I saw that she came back on the surface really quick. And she was doing, 
she was doing okay. I saw she's breathing, she was breathing, doing the same exercise, you know, keeping control. But after that second wave, I lost eye contact with her. Uh, I think she moved really quick towards the short break. That's when I thought, oh man, I gotta go to the short break. Nobody wants to go to that short break when it's that size. So I went to the short break, I couldn't find her. She was somewhere in between that white water. Uh, I give all my, my credits to Maya because she was able to hold a situation that not many people can do it. And she only did that because she trained so hard. I did my part. I kept the ski on, on my hand and I kept my eyes on her and then when I had a chance I grabbed her and I was able to take her to the beach. able to come back alive because we we managed to do the CPR and was a, a critical moment for us yeah I actually only realized I broke my ankle on the maybe the second hospital we went to I don't know I don't know when I realized but it took a long time everything else was way too painful talking about my lungs and um, yeah, it was, it was, it was trippy. It was hard to come back, it was a bit painful. Um, but I was at the same time very, very happy. Um, very thankful for everyone that was around there that I knew that, that those people were the main reason why I was there even though I did do 80% of the work to put myself in a situation where they could save me. And that was my mission. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I accomplished my mission to get as close as possible uh -huh. for them to save me. And, um, but you know, that 20% in the end of the day is what makes the whole difference because if they weren't there, I was gonna be dead. So I knew the team I have and I knew they would be there and I knew if I had a chance to live, I would. We are not here to blame, we're just here to, to give gratitude for everything. That's my main feeling today, you know, I'm very grateful for everything that we had lived yesterday and it was an amazing day. I love it, I love it. <laughs> I would do everything again. <laughs>